The Cybertruck is, and I quote, the best deal to be found for electric backup power that won't accidentally burn your house to the ground and kill you in your sleep. Welcome to Need to Know! When it comes to Tesla's Cybertruck, we've gone from 0 to 60 fast. From mocking it to placing orders in a frenzy. Really? And numbers aren't the only things that count. Who has ordered it and why is much more important. I, for one, haven't put an order yet, but technically, if I did, I could power my house. Like it's gonna happen to one guy from New York, Carl Gessling. He's not a celebrity or anything, just a regular person, just like you and me. So Carl figured out he could power his tiny home for 240 days with the help of Cybertruck with solar cover and some solar panels. He'd been living off the grid with his wife for a while now, struggling with homemade batteries convinced solar is the way. But when Cybertruck came along, this man saw the double opportunity – to use the dual-motor model as main power source while living his childhood dream – driving a sci-fi car. It's not the DeLorean, but it's not far from it. Plus, he's thought of blackouts, too. For folks who live on the grid, the Cybertruck could take over and give them electricity. Carl is convinced the Cybertruck is, and I quote, the best deal to be found for electric backup power that won't accidentally burn your house to the ground and kill you in your sleep. Fair point, it's not Stephen King's Christine after all, we hope. Plus, he's done the math just how much power he could get from Musk's pickup truck and if it's worth for $50,000. If you're curious, we dropped the link to his entry blog in the description. Now, that might be the best use for Cybertruck we've heard so far, but second best is law enforcement. I know, not nearly as exciting or surprising, the Dubai police has already ordered Cybertrucks for its fleet. The bulletproof stainless steel was a major incentive, I'm sure. People will see Tesla's creations in touristy places like Burj Khalifa, but I doubt the scene will be turned into a set from Mission Impossible, folks. It's more likely that Dubai wants to show off again. I mean, they're already turning heads with patrols in Aston Martins, Bugattis and Ferraris. Other men who wanted for the cool factor? UFC fighter Conor McGregor, somehow the person I can totally see sitting behind the wheel. But also Norwegian justice minister. Yup, not just the bad boys get to have it, nice guys are drooling over it too. The best part? He's completely owning it, admitting it's a real boy's car for a man approaching midlife crisis. We approve. As much as Cybertruck is selling for the sheer radical design and off-the-road capabilities with a side of sustainability, it goes against truck one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, yes, Cybertruck is the first real attempt at reimagining pickup trucks in a century. Ford has pretty much set the standards, with others following in its footsteps. Over the years, we've seen small design changes, so everyone that wanted a truck that looked like no other can now thank Elon Musk. The single bar headlights, roll-off cover, a ramp for an ATV are all new territory. The stainless steel exoskeleton, or unibody if you like, was meant to give industrial cyberpunk vibes, but more importantly, to need less manufacturing, assembly and no paint. Fewer costs, better retail price. That's all nice and good, but what about real-life functionality? What about the needs of the majority who does more hauling than off-roading? Cybertruck poses some problems. The sail panels should be easy to navigate, climb and get off, either from the ground or from the tire. And they're not. You have to go all the way to the tailgate and get up. The bed rails are kinda off, there's no way to secure materials by using them. And people who use trucks to carry lumber and other heavy materials will tell you how important that is. But here's to hoping Tesla will give us some good alternatives. The tail lights are also controversial. They may be slick and futuristic, but they are stuck on the tailgate, which is illegal under US law. See, tail lights should never be on movable car parts like the truck, because if you open it, they simply go away. So Tesla added a second pair like other car manufacturers did. Now, these seem to go on an angle almost on the interior sides of the truck. They don't seem as obvious as others put on the bumper, so we'll have to see what authorities say when the cars come out of production. It makes you wonder, when the novelty fades away and all the cool people have ordered a Cybertruck, who is gonna pick up Tesla's pickup? Folks that use it on the regular for industrial jobs? I don't know, what's your take on it? Let us know in the comments and don't forget!
subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys!